Yes guys, so we are finally made it. We are finally back again for the second reaction video I did on this YouTube platform. The very first one is on Mr. Lick's reaction. Guys, that link will be in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. And with that said, welcome to this year BR BPTV YouTube platform, brothers and sisters. Be real, be positive with about Mr. Lick's. Welcome to each and every one of you guys who tuned into another vibrations. Guys, don't forget to check out the vibrations right there. And then, of course, after this year video, we have a number of things we're going to be talking about, brothers and sisters. And that of which... I will tell you guys, give this video a thumbs up first of all. Click the thumbs up button. I would appreciate that right there. And with that said, guys, let us get into the vibrations for today right there. Now, guys, there's a number of things I'm going to be talking about on this year vibrations. Well, not a number of things, probably two or three things. We'll see what that is, what it's like right there. But of course, as you can see right there, this is a Facebook post. And of course, this was brought about, uh, I think, from Emma News right there. It's indicated Emma News. And of course, I think there's an individual pretty much giving a grievance right there. Hi, Emma. It seems like M.O. is the Lord Jesus. You know, going to the Lord, you know, Jesus provide for me. You know, let's go to M.O. and see if we can get some something happening. This individual is telling M.O. Hi, M.O. I am in need of your assistance to get the public to understand my cry. In other words, she's saying, I need your help to get to the public. All right. I am from a family of seven. Siete individuals. Personas. Yes, yes, brothers and sisters. And these past few weeks have been really 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 terribly bad since our washing machine went down brothers and sisters our washing machine just went flop you know i work six days a week of course and i rested on the seventh day hallelujah i work six days a week and at first i was thinking of getting it repaired because little ones uniforms and of course my work clothes need to be washed so i'm guessing there are seven of you guys i'm hoping it's not seven the six little ones you have my lord <laughs> my lord um but there's not much of information in that regard but anyways this individual is working six days and resting on the seventh day and of course needs to get the uniforms and of course the the the, the, the students you know uh, uh, uniforms and the clothes work clothes need to be washed but the cost to repair is almost the same as buying a new washing machine in addition to that brothers and sisters this individual is thinking it is high time that it's made its time. All right. One of the most affordable machines I saw is a thousand two hundred dollars. Brothers and sisters, a thousand two hundred dollars for a washing machine. Sister, from my understanding of understanding um, um washing machine sales in Dominica, if you buy a thousand two hundred dollar machine, that might go bomb in six months. Okay, so you, you might want to reconsider that. But you're saying you don't have much money and you're soliciting the help of individuals. One of the most affordable machines right now is $1,200. The person, persons, don't even have to give me the money. I don't need the money. I need the washing machine, please. Oh, Lord, please. Economy is not doing well, but I need the washing machine, brothers and sisters, because I have a number of people to take care of, including little ones and their school uniforms. All right? The persons don't even have to give her the money. This individual said they can contact me at this number right there. And I will tell them exactly where I saw it so they can push it for me. I don't know how the people before used to do. Well, I tell you how they used to do before. They used to go river, <laughs> you know, get blue soap. <laughs> and, and you remember the, the noise, the, the soap. <laughs> Rapping on the... When Hurricane Maria had happened, brothers and sisters, how did you wash your clothes? Did you wash your clothes? I don't know. I don't know if you had your own washing machine. Probably you had them kind of washing machine that was turning on pedal. So you turn in the thing while you know. I don't know. You could have something, some sort of contraption right there. But after Hurricane Maria, I know no washing machine was working. So back in the day, people used to go on the revenge. You know? And so forth and so forth. I myself was on the river. Yes, man. And he making this squeaking. Yes, I was there, of course. I know to wash clothes in brothers and sisters. I know to do everything. <laughs> Matter of fact. But anyways, <laughs> um, I don't know how the people back then used to do it. But I honestly can't, even if it's eight to nine hundred dollars. You cannot afford if it's the washing machine is eight or nine hundred dollars. Um uh even if it's eight to nine hundred dollars, I get I can make sacrifice to put the rest. Because I really can't take it anymore. Thanks in advance. So I'm guessing maybe the individual has been washing clothes. 
scratch on the stone and check in. Boy, my fingers are peeling. Me say, Kui, you know. Ah, Marquis, I don't know what to do. No, I can't take it anymore. Help if you can. This individual saying, and of course, if you can help this individual, please do so. But as Miss Felix, brothers and sisters, you know, have to hit it like, like it is. Now, I don't know which affiliations this individual is, but based on the economy that we live in, brothers and sisters, we know why that you are in the predicament that you are in today. We know exactly why you are in the predicament that you are in today. And it's based on the economy. The economy is not producing surplus or output that can be beneficial to you. You say you can, if you can, it last if you can get eight to nine hundred dollars to even make it, then somebody else can try to do it. And you're saying you have to sacrifice for it to see if you can get eight to nine hundred dollars. You have to make sacrifice to see if you can get eight to nine hundred dollars so you can buy a washing machine that will probably break down in about six months of usage ladies and gentlemen if you can help this lady out this is a number right there but i must bring it back brothers and sisters sometimes these very individuals are the ones supporting the very system i'm not saying this individual is you know but i'm saying based on our circumstances and things again a lot of people are suffering in silence Rest in peace, Ronald Astafans. A lot of people are suffering in silence and they refuse to say anything. At least this one come out and say, hey, I need a little help and whatnot. On the basis whether that person is DLP and whatnot. But the economy is affecting everybody. When I hear people working in bank complaining, much less for the people cannot even save up eight to nine hundred dollars. They have to sacrifice probably a few meals. Let the little one eat. Go in the river and drink some water. Walk by the river. Well, thank God it have fruits and stuff around. So you will still survive during that time if you have to truly sacrifice. But Mesami, how on earth do we understand that things are happening or not understand that things are happening to us and not for us? Yet still we're supporting the same system that is put before us. Or we staying quiet. Brothers and sisters, she might not be one of the individuals who support the present team, you know. But is she one of the vocal ones saying, hey, we need to change these things? Or she's staying quiet until when it reaches the front door. No, brothers and sisters, I'm not putting anything on her specifically. I'm speaking generally speaking because there are a number of individuals who are just like her. Who are waiting for somebody else or waiting for the family members. I've heard individuals saying this, you know. I've heard individuals saying, oh, I can support what I want. Go all the parties and whatnot. My family from overseas is supporting me. That's one of the reasons why I tell individuals overseas, stop sending things to the people who are allowing this country to be the way it is. They are allow they literally allowing the country to be the way it is. Ah. So when you're in that circumstance, maybe you're quiet, you finally cannot take it anymore, so you finally start to talk. I remember the reference that I gave. The individuals say, oh, they came for the Catholics. I'm not Catholic, so I did nothing. Oh, they came for the Jews. I'm not a Jew. I do, that has nothing to do with me. So, hey, that's not my problem. I did not stand for them. They came for the Protestants. They came for a number of persons. I'm not these people. So this has nothing to me. When they finally came for me, there was nobody there to stand for me because they took them out. People don't understand what I'm telling them, you know. It seems like people don't seem to understand. What on earth am I saying? But brothers and sisters... This lady could have been genuine in heart and really cannot make it, you know, and really need some assistance. Maybe she's a single mother. I don't know the circumstance. So if you can help out this lady, if you can, if you see it in your heart, if you are moved with compassion, brothers and sisters, a last mercy. Oh, ah. help us, Father, help us. Sometimes I ask myself if people truly in need of mercy. But then again, we are all sinners, brothers and sisters, in need of a savior right there. So we definitely need mercy. So you can understand the sentiment. Humans are still humans at the end of the day. That is one of the things that I'm learning to understand. Even for the dawn on history, when you understand the mindset of humans from all the way back to Adam and understand the mind frame and how it elevated, how it went down, how it rising, how it went down and how it's just constantly going down, brothers and sisters. Yeah, humans are indeed need of grace man ah we need grace eh? 
Because I'm seeing that the brothers and sisters, I remember the individuals back in the days on Moses' days. When they split the water, they walk through the water, you know, walk through the water, dry land. You know, boy, walls of water, this side, you walk through dry land. There's evidence of that chariots and all those kind of something there in the it's still in the water. They find all sorts of things down there, and yeah, but you get the point. They walk through the water, brothers and sisters. They came out from the water on the other end. And they still ended up <laughs> turning against the very one who allowed them to see. They say it's better for us to go back to Egypt. Boy, humans. <laughs> Humans are something special, boy. Ah, oh, boy, when things are happening to individuals right now, you know, they cannot take it, then they come for help. But is that help too late? Interesting. Talking about brothers and sisters, things not working out. <laughs> we bring you the stadium. Wow, beautiful. Looks so nice. Wonderful. I could do a little editing of that and make it fix up nice and little pop. Let it pop out, pop out, you know. Look, it's sweet and what have you, brothers and sisters. But that is not what we heard today, guys. Not the picture. The Prime Minister has indica indicated to us, brothers and sisters, that we are a big deal. I'm a big deal. Me and my friends, them some big deals. You know, the Prime Minister indicated that this news is a big deal. We are a big deal. This news and this news is a big deal. So, we are big deals and, of course, we have a big deal coming. All right? All right. The Prime Minister then indicated to Dominican saying Dominican named among seven Caribbean revenues to host matches during the T20 World Cup, which runs from June 4th to the June 30th, 2024, brothers and sisters. Are you excited? <laughs> Dominican made it finally to a World Cup. Ah. <laughs> glory, glory, brothers and sisters. Get ready. Put on your bootstraps. Get ready to play hosts. To the world for exciting cricket action right here on the nature isle of the caribbean brothers and sisters and of course this post was made well 12 46 pm september 2022 that was about a month and some days if my mathematics is correct a month and eight days you know sometimes the days flip flop brothers and sisters <laughs> a month and eight or a month and seven a month and nine days brothers and sisters whichever it is the Prime Minister made this exciting news for Dominicans, brothers and sisters. We have World Cup coming. All right. Great news, brothers and sisters. Even, oh, that was on Twitter, we? Where they posted on Twitter, we? Yes, Twitter. X. The Prime Minister is on X. Yes, I. And then today, we're getting some interesting news. Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports and Community Development Administration. Numbers right there, November 30th, 2023 statement hosting of the icc men's t20 world cup the icc men's t20 world cup is scheduled to be hosted in the west indies and the united states brothers and sisters i know the united states because since when um since um i was in albany when they were doing that they're actually going to be playing in albany brothers and sisters i actually knew some of the individuals who are part of the government and they know that this is one of the things that they have they they, they, they not have been they they are working on to ensure that they have the cricket in the united states remember i told you guys where it's going to be played you know <laughs> i was with the individuals talking about it so they are, are going to be united states is going to be hosting of course united states has a number of teams that they have also you know been playing against themselves and getting stronger and stronger and want to defeat you know west indies and the rest of the the veterans in the cricket game in the world cup so they have been setting up and they'll be developing a new stadium and all this kind of something there in the united states right there so i know this particular one personally anyways the government of dominica expresses its interest to host uh, let me read that again the government of dominica expressed its interest to host a number of these prestigious games at the Windsor Park Sports Stadium WPSS and subsequently Dominica was what? Short listed. So when the come Prime Minister come and tell you we are a big deal. I don't think we are a big deal if we are short listed. Nobody who is a big deal is short listed in the first place. Nobody who is a big deal gets short listed. But the Prime Minister is saying we are a big deal. Me and my friends, them are big deals. So we're so big that we're getting the vibes right there. But apparently Dominica was shortlisted as a host country for one group stage match. And two games in the Super 8 stage 
of the tournament so the i guess in the knockout competition dominica was going to be a part of the knockout competition all right subject to the attainment of various obligations as set out in the memorandum or M mou M memorandum of understanding several tangible actions were taken both at the united windsor park sports stadium i remember the prime minister was talking about lights and, and saying about lights they try to get lights and all this kind of something i don't know if they get it or what but you would think there's an ample time that you could organize that but apparently apparently it doesn't seem so why does dominica have the money to do these things if you ask yourself that question well some of us know why we have to give hints <laughs> Several tangible actions were taken both at the Windsor Park Sports Stadium and the Benjamins Park. They were coming to the Benjamins Park. Maybe as a result, maybe they're going to be putting them in the, what is it name again? The hotel in Portsmouth there. And when they come to the hotel in Portsmouth, you know, from time to time, they need to practice and so forth. So they're going to be using the Benjamins Park. On that basis of understanding, that's probably why they wanted to go into the Benjamins Park. All right. Benjamin's Park, including the commencement of upgrading and enhancement of the practice and match venues. Practice and match venues. Various assessments and the creation of additional pitches were necessary. Let me read that again. Various assessments and the creation of additional pitches were necessary. However, the implementation timelines submitted by the various contractors revealed that it would not be possible to complete these works within the stipulated time frame. June, right, June, you know, the whole six months, seven months from now, it would not be completed right there before the commencement of the tournament. As a result of that, we are a big deal. A decision was taken not to host any of the matches in the ICC Men's T20 World Cup 2024 as it would not be prudent for the government of dominica to commit to hosting these games you think if the people had the vision to see hey guys we want we're trying to get them to come to dominica we're trying to get west in this they came a few times we even hosted to the point where i believe where they even have individuals be, go, the government must have spent money to bring the cricket to dominica and people did show up as a result of most likely getting free tickets and free tickets and those kind of things there. People want to see West Indies and West Indies win. Oh, yes, West Indies win. That was a good thing. Right there, we were having fun. We were viva la vida loca in, man. Yes, man. But apparently, they did not see or foresee this, even though they petitioned. Yes, they studied it right there, you know. They studied it right there, brothers and sisters. The government of Dominica expressed its interest to host a number of these prestigious games at the Windsor Park Sports Stadium and subsequently Dominica was shortlisted as a host country. For one group stage, shortlisted brothers and sisters, doesn't mean that he got it, but it was shortlisted. Okay, so that's and two games in the Super 8. However, when upon the assessments on what needed to be done brothers and sisters, they realized that Dominica would not have beat, meet, meet the requirements of what needed to be done to host these games for two matches two matches it's very interesting right there as a result the decision was taken not to host any of the matches in the icc men's t20 world cup 2024 as it would not be prudent for the government of dominica to commit to hosting these games in light of dominica's sterling reputation in hosting international cricket this decision is considered to be in the best interest of all brothers and sisters the government of dominica thanks cricket west indies cwi uh, for its partnership over the years and looks forward to continue collaboration in the future you can only get collaboration if you actually meet the st stipulations that is needed to be done you cannot meet stipulations and expectations and expect not to do nothing well then again can they do anything though can the government do anything they thought we probably had the you know like when you come into the ghetto and you just oh that is what we have we'll stay with that so they probably check in that's what we we, we had we had matches there before but the matches that they were there before versus the world cup is two completely different things i know you know brothers and sisters i was in work i went to two world cups already i even stayed in one of the hotels that the the the, the, the south african individuals were staying I was there watching them go up and down taking bus and all kind of things to go we tag a few of them talking blah 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 so I was, anyways, brothers and sisters, so the government of Dominica, although it wants to host 
the, the West Indies cricket team or, or the World Cup, International World Cup, that would bring a number of surplus to Dominica because a number of persons would then want to come to Dominica, you know, to, not just to experience the cricket, but to go to the Sulphur Springs and, you know, to go to a number of things, you know, uh, rivers and whatnot. Maybe they do have that in, in their countries. Clean, nice waters, brothers and sisters. And, um, you know, these kind of things would have been nice, you know. But we can only dream, brothers and sisters. Ah, I have a dream. One day, we will get competent people to finally lead Dominica. And we get competent people to vote for these competent people. Because incompetence is breed through incompetence. Boy, that is a heck of a thing. Incompetence is breeded through incompetence. When you have incompetence leaders, the people get what they truly deserve, brothers and sisters. The Ghana Dominica extends best wishes to the organizers for a successful tournament in June 2024. We could have had it. At least even if we were shortlisted, we could have had we could have had something. I heard Reginald saying he don't know how the government could have envisioned these things, but apparently the government not envision. He don't envision for Domlek. He don't envision him for the World Cup. He don't have vision for the Wasco. The international airport, we don't have no vision because we don't have no final final design. <laughs> mm. Brothers and sisters, well. The least I can do for us is we can at least watch. Athenese would have been in, in, in Athenese was selected to be a part of that, eh, brothers and sisters. So we would have seen Athenese doing his thing, representing, even if it's not the finals we get, you know, even if it's not that we are gonna be part of the World Cup and stuff. Dominica could have been enlisted, but you know, short listed, we are a big deal, the Prime Minister stated to us. We're a big deal, and this news is a big deal. But were we prepared for the big deal that we are a big deal? Huh? We are prepared for the big deal since we are big deals. Sometimes our big dealness is so full of pride that we don't even see that we're not prepared. We could have gotten it even if we were shortlisted. You know, at least El Dominica supported it last time. They let's so short now. We bypassing the World Cup. No, every four years is World Cup now. So we have to wait another four years. Some of us are not going to be there now. Some of us not going to be there to see, brothers and sisters, we missed another opportunity for Dominica to shine. But what we have, at least we have. God. Just enough bats. Yes, Should Athenese is right there, brothers and sisters. I cannot think it, so go for four, brothers and sisters. All right then, four. Another one, beautiful. Okay, oh, another edge. four. Big up Athenese right there. 41. I have to do it like that, guys. Very can't stop this. Yes, guys. I have to do it like that. So, oh, eight. I say in forty-one. He has eight runs, there, brothers and sisters. Let's go to the next one. From leg stump to off stump. And so that is the same. That is the same one. That is the same thing. Okay. Let's watch him again. Oh, same shot. Four runs, brothers and sisters. Four, four runs on the boundary. You missed it, buddy. You missed it. All right, you need to learn to catch. Okay, they should fling mango behind you so you know to catch, but you know the story. See, the little ones enjoying Athenese strokes. 17 for 11, 17, 11 balls. Next one, next one. Oh, has no, that is the same thing, guys, the same thing. We're moving along. One or two. Okay, we have to move along, brothers and sisters. I don't want to get copyrighted. Okay, next one. So Athenese is 19 for 12 balls. Six, okay, four. Goes oh, wider. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Four runs. Four runs down the boundary, brothers and sisters. 23. Yes, sir. Big up Afan is right there. He's doing his thing. Okay, let's 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 continue. Is that a six? Okay, is that six Look runs? At the innovation. That is the shot of the day. Yes, man. Six. Big up Afan is right there. 28. 28 and 6. 34. Here we go. Yes, but he even turned the battery. Yes, Uncle even turning battery boy. What is that for me, boy? Yes, yes. Fix up the we don't can see that in Dominica. That's unfortunate, but you know. Um it's the same thing. Okay. Okay, next one. No other six. This time. 40. Easy does it. Big up Athen is right there doing his thing, man. Making Dominica proud, but is Dominica making him proud? Yes, man. 80 meters, brothers and sisters. 80 meters. That is the dashing. That is the, that is the dashing right there. So 48. 
Working. Nice, nice little ball. He sweep it down for four. Easy sweep for four, brothers and sisters. Next one. Oh, nice. Four runs again. Four runs on the boundary. Yes, brothers and sisters. Four runs on the boundary. Yes, man. Okay, next one. Yep, six. Oh, one for six. Oh! He missed it. He had it, you know. If he had catch it, but he maybe misjudged. Right there. So they have to make 42 runs of 23 balls, brothers and sisters. Athens right now is 62 for 40 balls. Easy does it. Yes, man. You almost had it, buddy, but you couldn't you couldn't touch Athens, Uncle Self. <laughs> Hello, Uncle oh, Christ. Alright then. Okay, let's move on. Okay, that's another let I didn't I didn't see. Let's let's watch this one. Yeah, uh, eh, eh. Alright, ninja man! Ninja man! Hey, you learned that now? In post, but man, you learned that. <laughs> yes, man. Flick of the race. Yes, man. So, down on the boundary. Flick it, man. Flick it up. Yes, guys. So, that is all I have. At least I get to show you guys something, you know. You might not sit in Dominica, unfortunately. Um, as a result of the incompetence of our leaders. We could have had it, brothers and sisters. We could have, you know. But, um, but you know, in the words of our Prime Minister, it is better your lights caught than your life caught. It is better you don't have cricket than you don't have life, brothers and sisters. <laughs> it is better you don't have to see World Cup cricket in Dominica in June. It is better to have your life. That's what the Prime Minister is saying there. And of course, you know, his fans will go. Well, what are your thoughts, guys? Are you disappointed? Are you surprised? Are you not surprised? What exactly is your thought process when it comes down to this situation? I mean, I'm not a cricket fan, but I would have loved to be a part of this one, to come and see the Dominica and stuff, you know? But, I guess, you know, sometimes, when the country don't have money to do, thing, to, th to do things, so you can elevate and, you know, put things together. In light of Dominica still in reputation, with all the monies and stuff to do things. Well. What are your thoughts, guys? What are your thoughts? Don't forget to check out the previous reaction I did today. That will be in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. And, of course, what are your thoughts on this, man? What are your thoughts right there? This is just my thoughts. What are yours? Anyways, guys, what I said right there, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video, guys. Remember, guys, be real. Be positive. Thank <laughs> you.